Your child's first severe asthma attack can be a stressful and frightening experience. But the good news is asthma can be managed. Asthma is a common yet serious illness that affects one in nine Australian children. The causes are unknown, but are often linked to other conditions including eczema, hay fever and allergies. Asthma often runs in families. So what exactly is asthma? Asthma is a narrowing of the small air passages of the lungs, which have become swollen and inflamed. The muscles in the airway then become tighter, making the airways even smaller. This makes it hard for air to get through, causing wheezing, coughing and difficulty breathing. The first step in managing asthma is recognising the signs. And this is not always easy, especially when other factors are present, like cold and flu symptoms. The most common signs of asthma are cough, wheeze, breathing difficulty. Some children experience asthma as a persistent cough, more common at night when the air is cool or during exercise. There can also be signs of wheeze or a whistling sound, usually when breathing out. In hospital, medical staff use a stethoscope to assess your child's wheeze. In more severe cases, there are obvious breathing difficulties. You may find your child is very short of breath and unable to talk in full sentences. Your doctor will make a full respiratory assessment. Here we see an infant suffering critical asthma. He's working very hard to breathe, sucking in his stomach muscles and taking in very large breaths. You can see the areas in between the ribs are sucked in. His head is bobbing. He's quite pale and drowsy. This is the severe end of the asthma spectrum. Understanding asthma and its triggers will help prevent your child's asthma becoming critical. The most common trigger is a viral infection, such as the common cold. Other triggers include exercise, changes in the weather, dust mites, pollens, pet hair and cigarette smoke. The best way of preventing asthma is avoiding the triggers. However, this is not always possible. Exercise plays an important role in keeping children fit and healthy, so should be encouraged. For parents who smoke, the best thing you can do for your child is to quit. Meanwhile, steps to reduce the impact on children should be taken, such as not smoking in confined spaces such as cars and smoking outside, away from children. More information about the impact of smoking and children is available from the Asthma Foundation. With the right approach to managing asthma, most children with asthma can lead an active and healthy life. Relievers such as Ventolin are the first line in treating an asthma attack. They relax and open the breathing tubes, making it easier for the air to pass through the lungs and out again. Reliever medication is most effective when inhaled through a spacer. The number of inhaled puffs is generally determined by the severity of the asthma and the child's age. For mild symptoms, only two puffs are needed using a spacer. For more severe symptoms, more can be given. Up to six puffs for children under six years of age and up to 12 puffs for children over six years of age. Your doctor will outline what is required on your asthma action plan. To use the spacer, attach the mask to the spacer. Shake the puffer and remove the cap and insert the puffer into the spacer. Place the mask over the nose and mouth to ensure a good seal. Press the puffer once, then ask your child to breathe four slow breaths. Remove the puffer and shake again. Then repeat this process shaking after every puff for a total of six puffs. 
From six years on, your child will require 12 puffs of Ventolin virus spacer. Remembering to shake after every puff and should be able to complete this independently with adult supervision. The spacer increases the amount of medication delivered to the lungs. It also reduces the taste of medication. A spacer is portable and easy to care for, as well as being easy to use, inexpensive and most importantly, effective in asthma emergencies. Keep the spacer clean by washing with warm soapy water and leaving to drip dry. Do not rinse or use a tea towel to dry. In some cases, children are prescribed inhaled steroid medications such as Flixotide or Alvesco. These preventer medications are administered daily through a spacer. Preventer medication must be given regularly regardless of whether your child is experiencing symptoms of asthma. This medication is designed to prevent attacks from happening and is generally recommended when there are signs of persistent or recurring asthma. Your doctor will advise if a preventer will be of benefit to your child. A third medication is also used for acute asthma attacks. This is a type of oral steroid, often called prednisolone, which is given in a syrup or a tablet. This works by helping the breathing tube to react more effectively to Ventolin. All children with asthma must have an up-to-date asthma action plan devised by your doctor. This plan is an important reference for parents, grandparents and other carers at preschool, daycare or school. It details what medications the child is taking and what should be done when an attack occurs. The plan should be displayed in a prominent place for easy reference. In summary, asthma is common in Australian children. 70% of children will grow out of asthma. Asthma cannot be cured, but can be controlled with the right medication. Using the spacer is important. It increases the amount of medication into the lungs. When asthma is managed properly, your child can continue to exercise. Inhaled steroids may have some side effects, but the benefits far outweigh the risks of poorly managed asthma. An up-to-date asthma management plan is crucial. Asthma is a condition that can be managed and most will live a normal, healthy lifestyle. For more information, contact your doctor or visit the Asthma Foundation at asthmafoundation.org.au.